Let's go say hi to Aiden. Hello. Hey, how's it going? Come in, come in. It's freezing outside. It's, it's so cold. How are you? I'm great. How are you? Good, good. Come in, come in. Are you Sit down. Warm? Trying to. All right. Take a seat. Thank you. All right, Aiden, thank you so much for being a part of our little video. So, first things first, how did you start your morning? Ooh, I had a breakfast sandwich from Our Daily Brett and started my work day. Wow, white bread or brown bread? Ooh, good question. Brown bread. Really? I'm a white bread type of guy. <laughs> what is the one thing that you do for yourself every day? Ooh, well, I don't have too much time to myself as a, as a new mom, but um, I try to take steam showers every evening and I use these beautiful uh, shower bombs that release essential oils. They're amazing. Wow, that sounds really, really nice. How did you get involved with Dress for Success? Dress for Success, well, I actually just applied online and it completely changed, to be honest, my life. Um, it's been an amazing opportunity and Dress for Success does some really, really great work in, in the community. How has partnering with the organization Making Changes enhanced the work you do at Dress for Success? Well, it's bringing two amazing groups of people together. I really believe in the charitable sector collaboration over competition. And um, by bringing us together, as we're now one entity, we'll be able to not only reach more women, but also provide a wide range of services that will really make a difference in these women's lives. Wow. What do you love most about volunteering? Oh, there's too much. I love volunteering for so many reasons. First, you know, giving back is really meaningful. It makes me happy. And um, you meet the most amazing people that have the same, you know, values, the same goals in life. And you get to learn a lot of different things that you wouldn't usually have the opportunity to do um, in, at work. So I, I love it for so many reasons. That's so nice. Coffee or tea? Ooh, I usually love coffee, but I'm expecting, so I'm going for herbal tea. I was actually just making a pot. Do you guys want some? Yeah, I would love some. So, while we're walking over there, what's your greatest strength? Ooh, my greatest strength is definitely my passion. What's your biggest weakness? Also my passion. It kind of gets me in trouble sometimes. What's another cause that's important to you? Cancer research. And why is that? My mom recently passed away from cancer and everyone is, I think, in some way impacted by cancer. And so I believe that it's a cause that we really need to invest in. When are you most inspired? <sighs> when I'm working on something innovative, like, for example, merging with making changes that really inspires me and gets me going. What is the one habit that you wish you could quit? <sighs> Diet Coke. <laughs> <laughs> Who in your life inspires you? Everyone around me, um, but probably my daughter. Seeing her live through her eyes and her curiosity, it's just so amazing. What three things can you not live without? Ooh, good question. I would definitely say my phone, which has been going off, I'm sorry. Designer handbags. My mom used to work at Holt Renfrew and um, really got me into that hobby really early in life. And probably Kochu chocolate. I don't know if you've tried it, but it's the most amazing, delicious chocolate in Calgary. I've never tried it, but I'm going to have to. What do you love most about the work you do? Well, I work at Benevity, um, and it's, an, it's a unicorn in Calgary, but um, we pair companies with charities. And so being able to, you know, have that impact in the world is really, really fulfilling. If there can be one advice you could share with everyone, what would that be? Let me pour you guys a glass. <laughs> oh, with everyone, I would definitely say, um, figure out what your values are and stick to them. I'm really value-based. Do you like one? Oh, thank you. 
Uh, figure out what your values are and really stick to them. I'm a really value-based decision maker and uh, leader, and I think it's really important to make decisions in life, whatever it may be, with a really strong principle-based um, foundation. What's your favorite piece of clothing you own? Well, I would definitely say that I'm not really into clothes right now because I'm seven months pregnant, but I will tell you my favorite accessory. Uh, it's a Cartier watch that my husband gifted me when I had my first baby, Mesa. Oh, I love it. Um, looking at the art around your house, I absolutely love it. Can you tell me a little bit about it? Yes, well, um, all the art in my home was painted by my mom. She was an artist from a very, very young age, and I asked her to paint many, many, many pieces um, for this home, and so I feel her aura and her energy everywhere I go in this home. I love each piece. What three words would your friends use to describe you? Huh. Outgoing, for sure. Um, compassionate and purposeful. I agree. So, what do you miss about university? Ooh. Oh, university. Well, we both went to UC together. Oh, everything, the friends, the learning, the youth. <laughs> <laughs> Tell me about it. <laughs> when you were a child, what did you want to be when you grew up? I wanted to be a human rights lawyer, 100%, just like Amal Clooney. <laughs> <laughs> I can see that. Do you think your younger self would be proud of who you have become? I really hope so. Working from home or working in the office? Well, I love dressing up, but working from home has been really nice. I love Dress for Success, and we've worked with them in the past. What's your favorite Dress for Success story? There's so many, but um, my favorite stories are the ones of the clients that you know come through our boutique and we provide them services and then they come back once they've been able to achieve economic independence and they redonate their clothes and they volunteer and that is the best part it's the cycle of impact that has the biggest you know the the biggest memory for me so who can uh, join Dress for Success, or how can people get in touch with them? Of course. Well, Dress for Success now is a program of making changes, and we work with over, I believe now it's 100 agencies in the city who refer disadvantaged women um, to our programs. And then uh, once they've been referred to making changes or Dress for Success, then they can come to our boutique, which is now located uh, just next to Chinook, and we provide them with you know, attire, and other resources so that they can thrive in their lives. What do you hope to achieve in the next five years? Ooh, that's a good question. Um, too many things. I want to be a great mom, and I want to have a fulfilling home and family life and be a great wife, but I also want to continue to do good work in this city um, and to disrupt the charity sector, create efficiency, and uh, make Calgary a, a better place for everyone. How can one get involved with Dress for Success? Ooh, contact me, or you can visit us at um, calgary.dressforsuccess.org, um, and there's a little volunteer tab, and you can sign up there, and there's so many volunteer opportunities. What are you going to do with your day now that this interview is over? I'm going to play with my baby. She's <laughs> coming home soon. That's so exciting. Well, Aiden, thank you so much for having us in your home, and we hope to see you again. Thank you for having me.